you in? Oh, I thought Joe might call. What for? To let us know he's all right. Mum, he's pretending he's pegged it. He's either going to ring Izzy and risk me answering it. Give me the phone! You keep your voice down, Nick, when I hear. Well, you're the one who dragged me into this mess, Mum. You're the one who married that basket case. If we have to cover for this mad I'm plan not covering for him. That's the whole point. I just don't want him to get into trouble. You start acting all weird and so Mum? You all right? Yeah, of course. I'll, I'll put the kettle on it. Blimey, okay. Yeah, I'd like to keep fit, that's all. I'm gonna try it. I suppose you're gonna wanna hog the shower now, eh? That's all right, I won't return. I'm a guest, after all. No, no, it's all right, you can go first. Yeah, kinda stink. Huh. Cheers. Who's that woman I saw opening the factory? Dark hair, posh car, dead fit. Oh, um, Carla. Yeah, Carla, she owns the place. Mum, you're gonna have to start acting more normal. If Joe goes through with this mad scheme of Ian's yet, you don't want people thinking you were any part of it, do you? No, of course not. Well then, you just stick to the story. <laughs> Yet, as far as we know, he's just gone off on this job of his, and that's the end of it. Do you love it? I love it. Really love it? I said, I love it. But, really love it. I can <laughs> I love my engagement ring. Okay. But do you really love it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to miss this place. I've done a mint job, I reckon. I have to get a wiggle on. We've got to find another fixer-upper like this one. Don't want to rush into buying somewhere we're not sure about, though, do we? Yeah, well, still need somewhere to live. Wonder if we could ask me mum, see if we can move back in there for a bit. Save us a packet. I think she'd mind. You can only ask. My dad's voicemail again. Look, how about we celebrate tonight, eh, babe? A spontaneous engagement party, what do you reckon? Well, we can't do it without my dad. Must wait till he gets back. Of course, yeah. Actually, with my birthday being on Thursday, maybe we should do it then. Make a big proper night of it. Whatever you want, Mrs Grimshaw. <laughs> my God, that sounds minging. Oh, yeah, I'm in agony. It's the nerve bed, how bad can it be? Back's locked. Muscles are aching. I'm barely able to describe symptoms. <clears throat> well, you never were a tea and sympathy type, were you? Hey! Mm. Tea I can do. I'm sorry of such a cow last night. I know you only acted with the best of intentions. Mm. You see, that does seem a bit mad now, doesn't it? They're only here for a week. I'm sure we'll cope. Right. Ready to face the aunties? Mm. Right, so listen. The plan is, quick good morning, you sleep well, yada, 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 and I'm out the door enough to work, right? I'll get the kids ready for holiday club so they're not late, and you jump in shower. Wouldn't mind somebody's crop my back. Back safe, Dad. Yep. Shame, hope you could have fallen in. You know, lying to Nick's hard enough. When people start asking where Joe is, I'm not sure I'll be able to keep it up. Well, you're going to waft, are you? Love. Ma'am, how was the holiday? Yeah, lovely. Not much in the way of weather, I imagine. No. Well, it was nice of you to turn up. Uh, that was my fault. Well, go and make yourself useful. Pop the kettle on. Go on. Right, um, I'll see you later then. See you later. Did Joe manage to get you on that boat? A couple of times, oh. yeah. You're a braver woman than me. Listen, now, why don't I treat you both to lunch and then you can tell me all about it? Well, actually, uh, Joe's not here. What? 
got off at some work while we were up in Cumbria, so uh, he went straight on. So he's not come back with you? Well, it didn't seem much point. They wanted him to start work ASAP. Well, how'd you get the boat back? David got the train up. That's why he wasn't in work on Friday. Drove me and the boat back. Well, you could have phoned. I didn't know where he was. Yeah, sorry, ma'am. My fault. Look, um, I can't stop. Uh, Monday morning. Chaos at the surgery. All right, love. Look, um, see you later, right? Oh. I'm made up for you both. <laughs> I really am. Nice ring, Jay boy. <laughs> Sizing everything. Or you. Top quality, that. Well, I love it, so. Yeah, but do you really love it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> You make a smashing couple. Oh, and gorgeous kids you're going to have an all. Oh, hold your horses. I've only just got engaged. Mm. I see you're not pregnant. No! Classic. Classic. <laughs> it says here that these days, 46% of marriages end in divorce. I'll, uh, get back to me, Sudoku. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking, do you remember when you first moved in with me, how we christened that shower? With mm -hmm. plenty of disinfectant, I hope. Oh, God! <laughs> Christmas, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I should really, I just, you know, I must have just, I must have, I thought this was, I must have just got lost, you know? It's a three bedroom uh, house. It's not you know, my left and my right, you know, they're not, they're not very, very good. Uh, just, uh, anyway, yeah, I'm so. See you at breakfast. You can't abort it, it's too tasteful. <laughs> I thought that one. <laughs> have you made some for us all? Blasted the bread. Right, I'm going to be late for work, but we'll have a drink later, yeah? We'll get squiffy like Whitney. Well, we have to wait for Dad to come home. He's on a job. What were you thinking about Thursday anyway, because it's Tina's birthday then? Oh, yeah. Great. great. Does that mean we only have to buy the one present? Yeah, but make it bigger. <laughs> well, I'm going to make like a banana and split. Congrats, amigos. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Come here. Oh, no, no! <laughs> you love it. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See I'm ya. afraid that I am fresh out of champagne, so what a brew do. Oh, uh, ma'am, is there any chance that we could move back into my old room for a bit? It will only be until we find somewhere else to buy. Hang on, guys. That's where I keep my props. And John likes to go there in the afternoon for a little bit of quiet. Hmm. Let me think. Um, hostile parrot? <gasps> my son. Hostile parrot? My son! I suppose we could do a, a rotor. Yeah, beggar the parrot. You'll have to slum it in here in the afternoon like the rest of us. Of course, you can move in and stay as long as you like. Thank you. Ah, Dave. Come and sit down. Grishma is trying her hand at the full traditional English. Well, you know, actually, I should probably... Uh... I hope you're hungry. I fancied some veggie sausages. I <laughs> can't think why. <laughs> Sunita, darling. She's putting the children in the car. Yeah. A holiday club for children. I've never heard anything like it. Now, Upma, Dave and Sunita are very busy people. Busy, busy. <laughs> I love school holidays. Me and my beautiful son, Kala, mm. would spend all our time watching old movies and dressing up and pretending to be our favourite film stars. We were always very close. And uh, what does he do? He's a professional dancer in Vancouver. And with such successful friends. His roommate, Jeff, mm. is a fashion designer. Where's the oil? Mm. A Sunita, darling! Darling! I can't stop. I've just managed to get the kids in the car. I'll be ten minutes. Why don't I come with you? And leave us here alone with all this food. I won't be long. Sit. And once we've eaten, you can take Upma and me to see this fabulous business empire of yours. Professor didn't seem too pleased about us moving in, did he? Just ignore him, he's a clown. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, you're back. Hi. Hi, Gail. Hi. Hi, you two. Um, I've been trying my dad, but there's been no reply. Have you got a landline number for this place he's working? Uh, no. I'll ask him next time he calls. Only we're planning a little party. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased, love. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. We were thinking of having an engagement party on Thursday, Tina's birthday. Oh, lovely. But only if my dad's back by then. Uh, if you do speak to him before I do, please don't say anything. I want to tell him myself. Right. So when's he back? Uh, 
I don't know. How do you mean? What did he say? Look, um, as soon as he calls, I'll get him to call you, right? I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm on a short dinner. It's uh, chaos mm -hmm. over there. Yeah, sure. Uh, congratulations, then. You have no messages. Mum, what's going on? I just wanted to see if Joe phone. That's all. I'll, I'll put the kettle on it. Your mother never told me you were here yet. She's got a lot on mind by the looks of things. All this stuff about Joe not coming back from the weekend seems a bit weird to me. Please do not get me started off with that man. David reckons they had some sort of big row up there. Oh, come on. Well, I don't believe all this rubbish about him getting some miracle job up in Cumbria. I mean, what about his tools for a kickoff? He certainly never had all them with him. So you reckon what? Um, they had a fight and Joe's just done one? <laughs> Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Hey? Oh, yes, yeah, disappeared before. Your mother found him living in his lockup at one point. <laughs> Joking. I wish I was. Nick, I'm sorry. I've never trusted the man. I mean, the rows they've had, and it can be really nasty, you know. A right Jekyll and Hyde. All moody and angry and spiteful. That's just his Jekyll side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweetheart, look at you. Every inch the successful young businessman there. Eh? So what, you reckon that Mum's too embarrassed to say they had a row and Joe's legged it? I don't know about that, darling. But if he has legged it, I hope he keeps going. Oh. Thanks for the tea. Mm. I've got some business to sort out. I'll see you in the Rovers later. <laughs> so you've not had any morning sickness? No. Cravings? Only apples. Well, I say apples, cider really. Otherwise, fine. Yeah, I feel right as rain. Oh, I was sick for months. Night. Ashley was brilliant. Could never do enough for me. Oh, I? Oh, yeah. I get these mad cravings for pork scratchings. <laughs> right. I used to make him go to the 24 hour garage to get them for me. At all hours. <laughs> In his pajamas once. Really? Mm. Right, you too. Hiya. Hiya, love. Mm. Oh. Claire's just giving me the LD on what to expect, up the duff wise. Oh. I wasn't at my best pregnant. <laughs> Sleeping, throwing a buzz, stuffing a vase by the sounds of it. Hey, there were some happy times too. How are you feeling? Can I get you anything? I'm feeling um, a bit faint like. You're not eating? No. I've got a real craving for one of Roy's all-day breakfast bams with brown sauce. Aww. I'll go and fetch you one. Aww. Do you want anything else? No. Maybe Cornetto. Uh, strawberry. Right. OK, fine. Anything else? Do you want out, Claire? No, uh, <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, best get her a Cornetto. She'll only be after a bite of mine. Right, one breakfast bam, two Cornettos. Strawberry. Strawberry. All right, fine. Well, you've got to make them feel involved, haven't you? <sighs> Gonna get off for lunch. Yeah. Um, there's a bloke here to see you. He's not got an appointment. Who is it? Nick Gale Platt's son. What's he want? Search me. Said he wants a word. Time to make an appointment. He's absolutely gorgeous. Give him five minutes. <laughs> Hello. You're Gail Platson. Nick. Sorry, Carl O'Connor. I can see you're busy. I'll keep it brief. I used to run this place for Mike Baldwin. Learned most of what I know in here. Why do you recognise a place coming in? Well, we had a major refit a while back. Yeah. See so you doing well. I can't complain. Times are tough, but uh, so am I. 
Short story is I'm looking for investment opportunities and call me an old romantic. This was top on my list. So you want to, uh, what, buy into the business? I'd love to look into it. I've got the money, I've got the experience. It could be a real asset. Mm -hmm. Well, for your information, I have a partner and I'm doing just fine, thanks. And to be perfectly frank, I doubt whether you can afford it. <laughs> so if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. <laughs> okay, okay. I didn't mean to offend you. It's a genuine offer. Uh, why don't you think about it, eh? I'll be in touch. Oh, do you know, I'm that made up for him. Oh, he's a lovely lad, he's Jason. Yeah. And Tina's all right and all. Mouthy cow. I like that in a girl. Yeah. It's a big step, mind. Marriage. Well, that's why they invent a divorce. Becky, you can't think like that. Till death us do part. That's what we say when we're getting married. We say a lot of things when we're getting married. Oh, do you know, you can't. I'd be cynical, you, Becky. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just in one of the moods, you know. Lethargic. And you can't even be bothered to pick the logo off a beer. Oh, what I wouldn't give for the afternoon off. Look at this. There's a double murder she row at half past, followed by one of them weepy American made for TV movies. Oh, I love them. What's it about? It doesn't say, but it's got Sally Field in it, so after she's dying or something, or oh, trying to get her kids back. Well, I'm stuck in here. It's not there. We saw that for you, Claire. You can go home, beat up, bag of crisps, have a whale of a time. Oh, I, with a huge pile of ironing, ice like a tip and all needing sorting before I've got to pick the boys up. It's not the same as working, though, is it? Hiya, love. Hiya. Ah, you feeling better now you've eaten? No, not really. Mm. I feel dead queasy. Oh. I think it's the morning sickness. Rather than the foot-long breakfast bar with two strawberry cornetto, she just yomped down. You said it could hit at any time. Hey, now, come on. You get upstairs, love. I'll get me mum to cover. Oh, no, no, I couldn't do that. No argument. Just sit down. Take it easy. Maybe see if there's anything on the telly. Maybe I will just have an hour, then. Mm. Or so. I've got to go. See ya. See ya. Sure. Do you not reckon it's going to be dead cram when Jason and Tina move into Ireland? Oh, no. We've had a cast of thousands in there before now. No, that'd be dead cosy. Like the Waltons. One big, happy family. Oh. You must keep on top of the dusting, babe. Look, <laughs> well, leave it. You've been fussing all day. Babe's little empire has managed without us this long. Well, I'd hardly call it an empire, ladies. You've called it that at least four times this morning. Mm. Oh, Claire! Please let me introduce you to Grishma and Opma, the Sunita's aunts. Yeah, and they are both staying with Sunita and me at our house. This is Claire. Hmm? Uh, uh, let me introduce you to Claire. She's a very good friend of ours. Yeah. <laughs> are you enjoying your holidays? Oh, yes. So wonderful to see how happy Dave and Sunita are and how he's providing for her and the children. Seven businesses. Hmm? I, I know. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? All right. And now if you go around the corner, ladies, you can have a look at the flat like you wanted to. Yeah. And I just have to wait for Molly to get back. Yes. We're real nosy parkers, <laughs> aren't we? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Chalo, chalo. That's good. That's good. <laughs> so what's the deal with Kim and Aggie? This is a really, uh, a really stupid idea of mine. Oh, if I should have guessed. So Nita and I pretend that we're still married. That's, um, we're still married so she doesn't have to suffer the wrath from the aunties from hell. And which carry-on film did you get that from? Well, ha, ha, ha. Well, you know, on the uh, upside, you know, we've been getting on better than we have for donkeys. I don't know, this uh, pretending is, um, brought us closer, you know? Mm. Dev, mm. if you want to get back with Sunita, wouldn't it be easier to just, I don't know, ask her out for dinner or something?
Your old man in love? No, he's not. Can you give him a message for me? Oh, drop the act. I know exactly who you are. You're the thug who's been threatening my husband. Your husband owes me money. Then send a snotty letter, like a legitimate business. I am not a credit card company, love. And I do things very different when people owe me money. Like pose as a buyer for our house. Yeah, I remember that and all. Now get your foot out of my door. Or I'll call the police and I'll say whatever it takes to get you arrested. Just tell him, yeah? My money. Were you around with that bloke? Who is he? <sighs> My God, Mum. What the hell's happened? I want to know exactly what's going on. We'll be back in Coronation Street at 8.30.